my name is Art and I started playing this game about a week ago. Now I'm almost level 20 and I want to help you level up in this game because it's actually so docking easy. First a little bit of lore. In this game you have three groups of people. Fortress, Rebels and Outlanders. Fortress and Rebels are each other's enemies and they have their own separate bases, also known as hideouts. Then there are Outlanders, which are basically people who are neither a rebel or a vulture. So as you may realize, being in one of those groups can help you play the game because you instantly have teammates and it's actually pretty easy to get into one of those teams. The only thing you need to do are vulture rebel tasks. Lost track? Okay. Let me try to explain. The main thing in this game, next to player versus player combat, are tasks. Tasks give you XP, influence and reputation. There are three sorts of tasks depending on what group you're in. At the time of recording there are two to three outlander tasks, five rebel tasks and five vulture tasks. The outlander tasks are fairly easy for beginners and the rebel and vulture tasks are a little harder. You can see the difficulty of the task by the amount of stars the task has. One star is very easy while five stars is the hardest. Let's first go over all the outlander tasks. Task 1 is Restalker. You start the task, for which you need 500 in cash, and you get a bag. Now you need to go across the map to the destination point, which is marked with a yellow D. You can do all sorts of parkour and running as long as you just get to your destination. Once you're there, you walk up to the destination and you're done. You are then given 1.5k, which is basically your 500 NTV plus the 1k reward. So that's the Restalker task. The next task is called Cargo Ambush, which is a harder task that can basically only be completed if you have a gun. You click on start task and walk closer to the destination. At the destination are about 5 NPCs, which you have to kill first. You can expect to die the first 10 times because it requires some gun skill and good movement to avoid getting shot. Once all NPCs are dead, you can loot their bodies. They may have keycards, which are very valuable in Blackout. Then you walk up to the loot crate and open it with the white keycard you got in your inventory. The crate can contain weapons, food, drinks and more keycards. Once you're done looting, go back to the broker at the destination point and you're done. You have now completed all the outlander tasks. Okay, so I have said the word broker a few times now. Let me explain what it is. In Blackout Revival there are three main things you see a lot on the map in the top left. B, which stands for broker. M, which stands for merchant. And T, which stands for terminal. All three of these things are needed to play the game. I will explain them one by one. A broker is a sort of black market dealer. You can do tasks for rewards, sell your valuables and turn in bounty cards of people you killed. You can also turn off the entire navigation system on the entire map but that's not important for now. Up next we have the merchant. This guy can sell you basically anything from guns to food to utilities to heals. You can also modify weapons and sell your items at the merchant. And last we got the terminal. This is basically an ATM but very advanced. At the terminal you can withdraw or deposit your money which is divided in stash and cash. Stash is your bank account, which will always be there. You can't lose your stash. Cash on the other hand is very dangerous to walk around with. If you get killed, you can lose some of your cash. But you do need cash to buy items from the merchant, which means having some cash on you is a good idea, since it's hard to always find terminals nearby, especially when you're grinding tasks. Alright, I just bombed you with tons of information at once. It may be hard to understand all of this at first, but I assure you that the only way to level up and unlock new stuff is by doing tasks and just playing the game. Don't forget to subscribe by the way, you might want to watch the next Blackout videos. Alright, odd out.